done is we have um, attached a frequency, like a sign of frequency to each rock. Just a basic sine wave, and you can physically move the frequencies up and down to hear the interaction of the different waves. So they each have the same algorithm changing each of their frequencies. And so how, how are you guys sensing the motion of the rocks? With the webcam of the ah, map. Yeah. Okay. And I notice you've got some fiducial track, markers on here. Yeah, so we track each fiducial marker. And just as, it, as the fiducial markers wide position adjust, we adjust the frequency accordingly. Cool. Okay, so what it is, is there's two pressure sensors in my arm, or sorry, my hands, and when you touch down on them, it should make it light up. And we coded it so the, that if you touch uh, softly, it goes slower, and then if you touch a little harder, it goes a little faster, like really hard, it goes really fast. So, um, and on my back is an Arduino and a circuit board taped to my back so that like the wires are going through there so that it just runs through it. So maybe you guys can tell me how it works. So the, underneath there's speakers, yep. as you can see where the action goes on. And then we have the connect up here. And basically where your hand is, it's blob tracking. And it's turning into a point. Use that point, we're doing some mathematical formulas to get it to change the frequency. And then with different frequencies, different, different effects happen with the non improvement. Okay. And there's just like, we wrote code, and as you go, the frequency changes here. Cool. Yeah. It's, it's quite simple. We just have the birds watch the leader, and then they just copy the movement. Flock of birds. Yeah, we don't, we don't do any electronics. You can see their little hearts beating. Cool. Okay, so do you want to give me a, a talk up? Tell me about it. Well, basically, um, the idea was do something with paper. Um, make a paper computer um, and we tried all different ways of animating paper and then we realized we could animate it simply by doing smart folds and then we thought how can we use this animation so we figured we would want it as input as well as output so we have animation as input you animate this origami thing and it's input and you have animation as output over there do you want to try it? that's the idea behind it I have to film it Cool. Yeah, that's Wicked. I like how it's all 3D. Cool. <laughs> is this your project? Okay, yeah. Do you want to tell me a little bit about it? Uh, sure. We have a connect tracking a person over here. Um, pretty much. I go like this. I can paint on the model, and I can, you know, like, hint and do multiple hands, another person can come in as well, and pretty much the color changes based on that, just randomization, and, yeah, it's just painting on a model as opposed to painting a picture of a model. Okay, yeah, basically what it is is there's a proximity sensor in there, and as you get closer, more things start to move, and also the sound starts to get louder and louder. See the servo motors down there. Are moving. Oh, cool! And the web moves too. Yep. Reminds me of the Avatar. Yeah. They all move. It's when the lighting's better. It works as like it's got a better range, but right now it's uh, pretty small. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, Do you guys have fun building it? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, I think we stress each other out of it. Um, I wanted to clamp things when we drilled, and Matt wasn't so into that. So um, I just did it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, it was good. We, you know, we just had to like get rid of the stress, and then it was fine. Yeah. It was fun last night. Yeah, last night Bottom was good. Was we were too tired last night for anything to matter. Yeah, so it was, uh, it was awesome. It was good. Well, it worked out well. I'm going to take a look at these things. You've got some some servos like from remote control cars here. Yeah, do you want to see the max? Yes, so, sure. So here's the max. You can see we've got uh, we've got the inputs coming in here. 
in the serial port. Yep. And then it goes down to three separate loops of uh, soundtrack that we made. So, did we do high ball, low ball? Cool. Um, well, basically, we wanted a flower that was a little bit friendly or reacted to you in a friendly manner. So, if the further you were away, the petals underneath would be closed, and then as you moved in closer, they would open up um, because they were attracted to you or they liked you, and then colors would also light up once they recognized your face. Cool. And then the more faces we got in there, we would have um, more of the colors light up. And so you guys are tracking via, you've got a webcam We've on there. We've got a webcam, and then for the movement of the motors, we used a, just a basic servo motor. So inside this box inside, is all your... Inside the ground, the right, soil. Right, yes. 